Hey everyone, it's Alec. I've been playing the Pokemon TCG Online lately as a distraction, and like most people with newer accounts, I've been playing the theme deck format most often. After researching the available decks, I found that the Dragonite deck, called Soaring Storm, seems to be the way to go for most consistent wins due to its great hand control, high HP and high damage attackers, and lack of coin flips. I put my analytical mind to work and mastered the deck, and now I'm going to share with you how to dominate with it for frequent win streaks and quick account growth. This deck revolves around Dragonite and Pidgeotto. Your top priority is to get these two cards on your bench as fast as possible and keep energies on hand. Once on your bench, Dragonite allows you to attach two additional energies per turn to any Pokemon you control and Pidgeotto lets you draw an extra card each turn. Neither of these Pokemon or their evolution line members should be used in the active position if possible, though Dragonite's 170 damage can be used to mount a comeback in some situations. Your primary attackers are Thunderous and Tornadus. They're both 120 HP basic Pokemon, and when one is active and the other is benched, their attacks gain powerful bonuses. Which Storm God you choose to attack with will depend on the deck you're facing. If it's a Water deck or Steel deck, Thunderous. If it's a Fighting deck, Tornadus. If you can pick between the two freely, I recommend Tornadus, as his second attack does 80 damage to the active Pokemon and 20 damage to your opponent's benched Pokemon, which is crazy strong for the format. Where to place the 40 damage after attacking for 120 with Thunderous is situational, but I typically place it on Dragonite, or Pidgeotto if I know there's no bench damage in the opponent's deck. At the start of the game, your active Pokemon will preferably be a Storm God or Grimer, who lets you draw two for free and can take a couple of hits before being switched or knocked out. Chin Chow should only be your active if you're facing a deck weak to electricity, and even then he's situational. Chin Chow is best used as an occasional bencher to be evolved into Lantern who gets a free energy when your active dies and can deal 140 damage when you need more than 120. Pidgeot is extremely situational and should only be used as a comeback tool against an overpowered active Pokemon that must be switched out for you to win. Leave Pidgeotto unevolved for as long as possible to benefit from its card draw ability. The items and supporters are mostly self-explanatory, but I do want to go over how to use the deck search cards. Pokemon Fan Club is used to fetch your basic Pokemon. Highest priority are Pidgey and Dratini. Next are the Storm Gods and a second Pidgey, if you have a Pidgeotto both on your bench and in your hand already. And lowest priority are Chinchow and then Grimer. Grimer being virtually worthless mid to late game. Pokemon Communication should be used to obtain Pidgeotto, Dragonite, or Dragonair. For the discarded Pokemon, choose Grimer, an unneeded Dragonite Evolution Line member, or a Chinchow or Lantern. Finally, remember to retrieve one of each energy type most of the time in order to allow for Dragonite's ability to attach two energies per turn. And that's how you win with this deck. You'll be able to beat any theme deck and occasionally expanded decks this way and build your account faster. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you next time.